In Matthew chapter 16 verse 13 to 15 it reads, Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Verse 15, he said to them, But who do you say that I am? It's a question that stands even today. When we look into the world around, the world too has a view of who Jesus is. Some say Jesus is a good man. Some say he's a prophet. Some say he's one of the first creations of God. Some say that he was a good teacher. But is that view the right view? Who do you say I am? That personal question still stands for you and for me. Jesus does not want us to just live with the view that the world has. He wants you to have your own personal revelation of who he is. Jesus does not want you to just know about him. He wants you to know him. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, he says, come to me. It's a personal invitation. In, in Psalm 23, the psalmist says, the Lord is my shepherd. It's a personal relationship. When we read of, of the Lord's prayer, Jesus teaches his disciples to pray, our father. That means it's again a relationship. Jesus wants you to have a personal revelation of who he is. Do we hold on to the world view? Do we hold on to the view that speaks about Jesus as a prophet or Jesus as a good man? But I want to challenge that view because when you look into the life, the work that Jesus has done for us, nobody could have picked us up from that pit of sin and unrighteousness and taken us to a life of righteousness. Nobody could have delivered us from that addictions that we had and given us a life of freedom. No one could have healed us from that sickness and disease or maybe even that hurt that we were going through and given us a life of wholeness. No one could have done it but Jesus. The work that Jesus has done in us is a testimony of how big Jesus is. I want to ask you today, who do you say that Jesus is? Do you have that personal revelation? Do you know him or do you know about him? Do you endorse the view that the world has? Or do you know him personally to stand upright and say, I know my Jesus is my savior, my healer, my God, my redeemer. Who do you say Jesus is? That question still stands today. What would your reply be? God bless you.